Uh oh. Nintendo announced a Legend of Zelda movie is officially in production. And I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit worried. The same type of worry that I had when the Super Mario Brothers animated movie was announced. The news of the Super Mario Brothers movie brought a lot of worry to me because I knew Illumination was going to be involved. This time around, they're not involved. But what brings me worry is that the following people are involved. Derek Connolly as a screenwriter who wrote the Jurassic World movies, which I hated. Rise of Skywalker, which I hated. Kong Skull Island, which I thought was pretty okay. And Detective Pikachu, which I thought was good because I love Pokemon. <laughs> but that doesn't bring me a lot of hope for what the movie's gonna be like. It is directed by Wes Ball, who did the Maze Runner trilogy, which I have zero idea what any of that's like. I never watched the Maze Runner movies. I know that Miyamoto is working with Avi Arad, who has his name connected to like spectacular movies, like the Venom movies, Morbius, and an absolute classic, 2007's Ghost Rider with Nicolas Cage. All movies which are extremely worrying <laughs> to see coming from that name. Though I do know he did actually good movies. I really liked uh, the Spider-Verse movies. Those were great. Um, when I was younger, I did enjoy also the uh, Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. Um, so he has his name connected to that, which is fine. I liked the first two. Uh, I, I even liked number three even though it's really weird, cheesy, and I don't know what the hell is going on in it. It feels like a totally different vibe from the rest of the movies, but whatever. They're, I'll just say they're average. I do know that Nintendo does not want another 93 Super Mario Brothers happening. They are financing more than 50% of this movie, and they will probably want it to break the bank they want it to turn out right. So I should probably let my worries rest a bit, but it's going to be difficult because Legend of Zelda is something that I really wanted to see as a movie, and I really want it to turn out good. Mario Brothers turned out really good in my opinion. I mean, it was really safe. Are we going to get that with Zelda? Are we going to get a really safe Zelda? And it's not going to go really daring? I mean, it's live action. That already feels like it's going a little more daring. I think it's much harder to adapt a video game movie live action rather than having it animated because you can do whatever you want with it animated. You can just have the characters look exactly as you need. Now they have to cast people who kind of look like the characters enough so that we're like, yeah, that's Link, that's Zelda, that's Ganondorf. I, I see people are already doing fan casts. Um, Hunter Schaefer as Zelda. I looked her up. Yeah, I can kind of see it. I saw somebody say Elliot Page as Link. Cool. I mean, I guess. Elliot Page looks enough like Link, I guess. Very Linkish. When I was younger, I remember uh, my fan casting. I, I mean, I guess everybody already did this fan casting. Orlando Bloom. Solely because of Legolas from the Lord of the Rings movies. I mean, he was practically just Link in that movie, you know? He had the looks. I, I don't think so anymore. I think maybe he's a bit older and people want a, a, a younger Link, you know? I I don't know about Ganondorf. I haven't seen a lot, lot of fan casting. I think somebody online I saw that they're like, oh, Batista. I'm like, okay, why not? Why not Batista? <laughs> I, I don't mind him. He seems cool. So I'm just curious on who we're going to get to play all these characters and have it be uh, convincing and good. I'm certain they will choose the right people. I remember the casting for the Mario Brothers movie messed with me. Only the Chris Pratt part. I mean, everybody else I thought was perfect. I was like, oh, this, this is definitely, this is the new Bowser. This is the new Luigi. Yes, Princess Peach is perfect. Then I was like, the Chris Pratt. Nah. I saw him in the movie, though, and I was like, eh, he kind of works. I don't know what's happening with his uh, accent going all over the place, but I mean, I wasn't disappointed like I thought I would be. 
and I feel like this is one of those things I'm worrying about now, but then I'll see the movie and I'll just be gushing over it too much to care if it was good or bad, I will just say, I loved it because I saw Link on screen, I saw Zelda on screen, and I saw Ganondorf on screen. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll see Tingle. I would love to see Danny DeVito as Tingle. That that was suggested by some some comment that I saw, and I'm gonna be honest, I, I kind of already had the Danny DeVito as Tingle in my mind for a while because that's just too funny. I really wanted Danny DeVito to be Detective Pikachu back when that movie came out, but uh, I think he uh, said in response to that, what the f**k's a Pikachu? I'll have to look into that, but... <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll just see how this turns out in time. We can all worry about it together. Or, we cannot worry about it together. I don't- I- I'm going to worry about it. That's just me. I want it to be good. I love Zelda. Alright, uh, that's all. I'll see you next time.